Welcome to another Your Business Card Guy Corel Draw tutorial. In this video, we're going to talk about letter spacing, kerning, and some little effects you can do with little grab handles. Let's say I have some text, and what I want is an effect where the letters are all spaced out a little bit more than stock. Now, I've purposely chosen one that's got kind of a condensed look here, just so that it becomes a little more obvious. All you have to do is select your text, choose your shape tool, and then this little guy here on the right will have a couple of effects. If I just grab it and pull, it will actually space out the lettering, which is kind of a neat effect. You can see here, now I've got a little bit extra space and everything just is a little bit different than stock, which is again, sometimes what you're looking for. You don't want to look like someone could have just typed it up using Microsoft Word or Publisher or whatever. And so an effect like this can be kind of something a little bit extra special or can create the even look that you want if you're trying to line up phone numbers, email addresses, and things you know on a business card or a postcard or something like that. And let me undo that. The other effect that this can have, the same, same handle here, if you hold the shift key down, it will actually space the words out. And so now I can have the words spaced out without having to go in and manually put spaces in. This allows me to customize it to exactly what I want. You know, if it's somewhere in between, it makes it super handy to do that. I'm going to undo that again. And the third thing I want to show you in this video is the little bit somewhat unknown. There's little grab handles. Once you hit the shape tool, your text now have these little grab handles, these little squares. Can you see those? They're not real big. Let me see if I can zoom in. They don't get much bigger, though, that Corel constantly is, is adjusting. So um, they're there. You can see them right here at the end, quote unquote, end of each letter. And what they do is they allow for some custom positioning. So if I want, I can now fiddle around with the, the text in a way that's a bit unique. It's, it's not something you could do just by typing it out. And to do this effect in any other way, you'd have to break your text apart, have each letter be an object that you grab and move. Uh, but, but this little shape tool can be very handy to give you an ability to do something that um, you know, nobody would be able to do unless they were into the you know, had graphic design software, uh, which, which again, when you're, depending on what you're working on, could be quite important. You know, and then you can start to do other things um, to you know, kind of help outline and uh, separate and you know, whatever you want to do with it. And uh, so that, that's just something you can, you can monkey around with is uh, using the shape tool, which can help you with your letter spacing and also with word spacing, as well as the vertical position using the grab handles uh, of, of your text to create you know, a very interesting effect um, that you might not otherwise be able to achieve easily, you know, again, without having to break things apart and uh, really do something, you know, funky with them, you uh, can use this to, uh, you know, move things around and do, do things that are uh, unique or, or unexpected. And, uh, you know, it, it's just, again, another one of those neat little uh, quick tips from Corel Draw. Thanks again for watching this Your Business Card Guy tutorial. This was a quick tutorial, quick tip on letter spacing, kerning, and uh, using those grab handles for interesting lettering effects. We'll see you next time.